All right. Hi, everybody. This is Anna Little here at Atlantic Shores. Um, I have a really special guest here for our Zoom in to Atlantic Shores um, meeting today. I have Eric Dornberger, who you can see is busy over on the other screen. Hi. Hello. Um, we are actually in the kitchen of a, a Chesapeake, which is a villa at Atlantic Shores. This is a, a home that we use to allow guests to come and stay. Um, and it's also something that is available for you to choose as your home at Atlantic Shores. So we're in the actual kitchen. I'm in the eating area keeping a proper social distance uh, from Eric, who is in the rest of the kitchen. Um, we are coming here today. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna talk a little bit for, um, with you about Atlantic Shores and the food program that we have here and how much our residents enjoy and, um, and really just take such great um, you know, pleasure in, in enjoying the food prepared by a, an amazing culinary team, all, um, all being led by Eric Dornberger. So Eric, I'm gonna let you um, talk a little bit about yourself and tell us what we're gonna fix today too while we have this fun conversation. Sure thing, Anna, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Hello everybody, my name is Eric Dornberger. I'm the uh, Director of Food and Beverage and uh, Interim Executive Chef for the time being. All of that. <laughs> <laughs> all that. Um, I've worked here for uh, roughly eight years. Uh, I have a very uh, a strong culinary background. Uh, I worked in several hotels, restaurants in the Virginia Beach area. Uh, finding Atlantic Shores was like a new, uh, I, 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 word just can't explain the, 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 you know, the excitement and, and just the, the different, uh, you know, styles of cooking and the ability to be so versatile uh, in a different way and pleasing and, and having residents, you know, it's like having, you know, 600 grandparents here. Uh, it's, it's, it's a wonderful experience. It's, it's, it's been a life changer for me, for me. And, and I couldn't think of a better place to work. Well, I'm telling you the residents here and their families and the guests that come in to stay with them are, um, all you ever hear them say is how amazing the food is from Sunday brunch to, like your, your special wine dinners that we have here or you know special events like the anniversary party. Everything is fully catered. Um, all the meals are prepared in, uh, what do we have, three? Three kitchens, Eric? Yeah. I think we have three. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to stop and count. We have, uh, well, yeah. we have four kitchens, actually, okay. yeah. But uh, four kitchens, five bathrooms. Um, and yes, I mean, it is, you know, we, we do have our three meals going out in the, in the various areas. Mm -hmm. But like Anna was saying, we do a lot of special events. Uh, residents throw a lot of parties. Um, that we know. We, we do a we do a ton of catering, uh, both on property and off property. Um, and you know, going back to the chef dinners, we do interactive mm -hmm. cooking demonstrations twice a month. We have wine tastings every month. Uh, we do more specialty wine tastings a couple of times a year, where it's more like a holiday, yeah. uh, more tapas style food, five courses, and you know, smaller wine pours. Uh, to get to of everybody through the evening. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of, we do a lot of, you know, we host the golf tournaments. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think maybe most importantly, because this kitchen smells so delicious, um, tell me what we're going to fix. And I know this is a favorite. The reason why we chose to do it today on Good Friday um, is because Easter is right around the corner. Easter is a little bit different this year because we're not gathering up with our families in a big situation, you know, where we're all around the same table. Um, we are offering deliveries for all meals, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But what are you going to fix for us today? Because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Uh, well, so today I'm making a traditional lamb uh, roasted uh, rack of lamb. Uh, it's a it's definitely a resident favorite, mm -hmm. um, and we have it on our menu this Sunday. I'm I'm prepared to make quite a few lamb dinners that that night, so it's good for me to you know brush up on my skills. Um, so it's a traditional uh, a seared lamb rack. Uh, I'm going to coat it with rosemary, or excuse me, with uh, with Dijon mustard mm -hmm. and then some seasoned breadcrumbs finish that off in the oven, and then I have uh, some mashed sweet potatoes, uh, and I just have a little sauteed vegetables that will go along with that. So it sounds complicated, but mm -hmm. I'm seeing your setup here. I've seen a little bit of prep go into this, and I think I might actually be able to do this. Um, I yeah. may not have lamb at home, but I'm thinking that I could do this with um, 
like a pork loin or something like that that might be something I already have um, at home. So I'm excited. And while you work, we're going to do a little bit of television cooking magic here. And, um, and at some point, he might actually pull out one that's already done from the oven. Sorry, <laughs> gave away your secret. Um, I'm sure everybody knows about that. Exactly. <laughs> So, um, but this is being done in an actual kitchen in an actual villa at Atlantic Shore. So, although we have all of this amazing, um, you know, service available to you through our dining program, you can also do this at home. Every single apartment home or villa home at Atlantic Shores has a full kitchen, um, all your appliances that you would need. And um, of course, if you want to see any of those, you just need to go to our website, which I'll tell you in a little bit how to get there and schedule an appointment with me. Um, Eric, while you're doing your kitchen magic. Can you tell me a little bit about maybe how many staff we have here in our in our whole food and beverage um, department? Yeah, in food and beverage right now, we're, we're right around 100, hovering, hovering right around 100 employees. Mm -hmm. Awesome, and so those 100 employees are serving um, over 500 residents. Um, that encompasses our entire neighborhood, the full continuum of care. They serve meals for everyone. Um, now, so part of what you pay when you live at Atlantic Shores is a monthly service fee, and that gives you a food credit. So you can use your food credit for um, anything dining related, even some other um, things you can add on, like special trips or special wine dinners or um, things like that. So Eric, while you were, um, while you are over there working your kitchen magic, what, what are some of the things people can spend their... Um, their food credit on other than sitting down in the Chesapeake or the bistro and having a meal? Well, right now, um, since we are, since we're in the situation that we are, mm -hmm. our dining rooms are closed. Uh, you know, we're, we're, you know, delivering, you know, dinners to their homes, which come out of their monthly meal credit. On top mm -hmm. of that, we, uh, we did start a grocery store, an extensive yes. grocery store at this point, uh, where we, you know, anything from beverages, uh, mm -hmm. you know, sodas, coffees, juices, uh, we serve all varieties of milk, um, almond milk, lactate, um, did I say awesome. coffee? But yes, coffee, coffee, that's important. <laughs> we have candies, uh, yeah. you know, lots of chocolate and, you know, some licorice and things like that. And, um, awesome. We also have, you know, toiletries, you know, toothpaste, uh, toilet paper, paper towels, uh, you name it. We, so everybody's Rags. getting everything they need, really, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, tell me well, a little bit about. So big that we moved from eight and a half by eleven to eight and a half by fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> so <it's, yeah. laughs> Wait till the eleven by seventeen page comes out. And now, tell me how you're going to do this um, lamb for us. Sure, absolutely. Well, we're going to start off. I've got I've got a couple of racks here, um, and the first thing I'm going to do is just salt and pepper both of them liberally on all sides. If you guys could smell this kitchen right now, you'd be hungry. I'll put a little, uh, put a little oil into a, a preheated saute pan. And then we're just going to sear this real good on all sides. And it's nice, you know, you got a little, you know, there's a little cap on the, uh, on the lamb. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's good. You, you put the lamb or whatever protein you're using into the pan. You just want to let it. You just want to let it sit and mm -hmm. and and uh, sear without moving it. And what you're doing is you're uh, you're creating a fond in the bottom of the pan. You know the, the sugars are adhering to the bottom of the pan. Um, and when you when you pull it off, you'll see that kind of crusty you know bottom to the pan. And that's there's a lot of flavor in that. I was um, gonna say that's the part that tastes the best, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And what I end up doing is. Um, uh, I'll use this pan. I'm going to deglaze it. And I'm going to make a sauce, you know, using that. It'll just, it'll just add more body and more flavor to the sauce. Awesome. Uh, now, what else do you have that we're going to put on the plate with that? Well, I've got some mashed sweet potatoes mm -hmm. here. Um, they just have uh, some butter and some salt and pepper, and I put a little milk in there. All right. Adds, adds a good color to the plate. Uh, residents love sweet potatoes, so we have them on there, mashed, whole, roasted, you name it, shoot, string, fried. All, all sweet potato varieties. Now, I have a question. Mm -hmm. At home, I always bake a sweet potato before I mash it. Do you, do you, is that sweet potato cooked prior to putting it in there with all that good stuff, or do you mm -hmm. start from a, 
How do you do that? We do the same thing. You know, you can, oh, okay. you can, you can peel a sweet potato and mm -hmm. boil it. Uh, I find it better. You get more flavor if you just, you know, put those potatoes in the oven. Yeah. Roast them real good. You'll, you'll kind of start seeing, you know, sweet potato oozing out of the, out of the ends. And you know that, that they're done then. Um, you know, 45 minutes, 350 degrees, 375, maybe a little longer. And if you go a little longer, that's fine because, you know, you peel it, you peel that, you know, burned up skin off. Yeah. And you got this nice, you know, vibrant, you know, orange sweet potato in there. A lot of good flavor already. You know, the sugars in those potatoes are already, you know, caramelizing a little bit and just, you know, bringing out the flavors of the potato. That sounds delicious. So, um, I... I've also peeked over there at the prep board, and I know there's some, um, you're just going to do a really simple sauteed vegetable to go with that? Yes, I um, have, okay. oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, okay. I have uh, some green beans. Uh, I'll just show you guys, you know, real quick, uh, my items that I have here. Okay, yes. All right. Um, this is shallots for the, for the sauce, uh, some garlic for the sauce, um, salt and pepper. I've got some Parmesan cheese, which I'll show you in a minute, some whole butter. Uh, and then there's the green beans and uh, some red peppers. I've got some chopped up fresh rosemary and a little Dijon mustard. And really, you know, it sounds like a lot, but those are all things that people, maybe not all of them, but most things that all people have in their, in their pantry or if they're getting fresh groceries delivered right now, it'd be really easy to, um, to get a hold of those items and then you can use them for multiple meals, not just this one. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm getting excited. It smells even better now. Um, get, get a little better. I'm going to move on to a, to another step and then yeah. we can, we can go on to some other things so that the, uh, the next step. Is, kitchen magic folks. Remember, is I'm going to go ahead and, and put these, uh, well, I'll tell you what, since we are doing kitchen magic, I forget, <laughs> and we all know that the secret's out. Uh, normally what you would do is you'd want to roast these into the oven, um, um, you know, for about five minutes at, uh, at 375, okay. maybe 400 degrees. If your fan is a, is a, convention fan meaning that it doesn't the convention oven meaning that there's not mm -hmm. a fan in it if you have a convection oven you know the air it's, it's got a fan in it and the air moves around quite a, a little bit faster, and, and yeah. it cooks a little faster yeah, and okay. more evenly so I, with my dijon mustard oh this is the way it gets good i promise you what we're going to do is also send out um the recipes and a little bit of instruction on how to so you can make this um, meal at home um keep in mind our residents are having this delivered to them on sunday so it's going to be um, a great day for a really great holiday meal mm -hmm. even if you can't share it with your family i would suggest maybe go on to a zoom meeting or facetime or something so you can have your family right at your dinner table with you mine mine are planning to do that as well even with my cousins that we wouldn't normally see at um at easter we're going to have them on our on our dining room table so that we can all eat together so real quick, I'm going to take, so I've got some breadcrumbs here, and uh, I'm going to put a good amount of Parmesan cheese in there. Um, I'm going to put some fresh garlic uh, in the, in here as well, some salt and pepper, uh, and then uh, maybe a tablespoon of the uh, chopped up rosemary. I'm just going to mix that up. You kind of want to grind the, the fresh uh, garlic into the, into the breadcrumbs. And get the cheese in there mixed in real well. Gives you a good hearty breadcrumb mixture. And then we're just gonna take we're just gonna take the lamb and we're just gonna dredge it in this flour on all sides. That smells good. You know, so you got a nice coating on there. I don't know if you're oh, it looks delicious. Too close to you you're guys. perfect. That's great. <laughs> and then we'll do this to the other one. Same thing. I'm going to give away your next secret. He sets them up so that they sort of stand up in the oh, pan yeah, like this. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Um, so how many meals do you think we've delivered over this um, last couple of weeks when people have been, you know, staying at home? Well, we've been delivering, uh, we've been delivering, we do about 300, 320 uh, meals a day right now. So if I do two weeks math on that, we're looking at about probably more than 7,000 in the last yeah, couple of yeah, weeks. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we're, it's, been, it's been quite a change. Um, I've got a fantastic staff that, uh, oh, yeah. been, you know, changing the direction and just the, uh, you know, how we do things on a daily basis. It says, you know, like everybody. Uh, They're just rolling with it, aren't yeah, they? Exactly. Yeah. So quickly, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, 
put this sauce together real fast, if you don't mind. And now this is the part where I always lose my meal at home is making a sauce. We don't have many sauces, um, but I think that you're probably going to make it look easy enough. I could do it at home. This is an easy sauce. Okay. And, um, when I'm making a, you know, a lot of my meat sauces, uh, I always like starting off with, you know, getting just some whole butter in there and, and just browning it up a little bit. And when you brown the butter, uh, it brings out like a nutty, more, more hearty, uh, a flavor, a nice, a nice start. And Anna, if you think, if you think things were smelling good a second ago, <laughs> I'm gonna add the chopped shallots, and it's a lot. Yeah. I mean, this is this is like a, almost a, almost a, probably a half cup. But I love I love shallots. I love brown butter. So it's always nice to start off with that. I, I made fried know. rice last night and I used shallots in there, so you should be proud of me. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'm very proud. Yes. Exactly. So um, I wanted, while that, while he's whipping up the sauce and sauteed vegetables, we're going to plate up this meal, and I'm hoping that I can um, get a plate over here from that camera to this one so I can taste it. I wanted to let everybody know it's really easy to still come in and see Atlantic Shores. You may not be able to come in in person, but right now we are set up to do video um, tours with you. We can uh, show you some of the interior, some of the, um, the exterior, all the common grounds, you know, 100 acres of beautiful landscape here that I can show you by video, just send you a link, um, or we can do FaceTime. So when you have a chance, go on AtlanticShoresLiving.com and schedule a virtual visit. Um, it's our new way of doing things. So I think it's going to be awesome, and we can't wait to hear from you and look at something steaming up over there. Oh, yeah, so this is the sauce. While you were, while you were talking, I went ahead and added some, uh, some red wine to the, uh, to the uh, sauteed shallots. And then I had some demi glaze, which is basically a beef stock reduced down. Oh, yeah. Uh, it thickens up as you reduce it down from the marrow and the bones of the of the, of the beef bones or chicken bones. They'll, they'll gel up to car the cartilage will oh, yum. assist with that. Um, and that's the demi glaze, and we're and we're pretty much done. I'll put the rest of the rosemary into the uh, into the sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this lamb out. Kitchen magic. And let it rest for a bit. So we've been we've been on for 15 minutes. So with kitchen magic, you can cook this meal in 15 minutes. In real life, how long do you think it would take, Eric? About 15 minutes. Maybe maybe a little 20. Okay. 20. I got faith. But through this guidance here, you'll be done in exactly. 15 minutes too. Speaking of that, though, so. Um, I always would love to have a chef come into my home and cook a meal for me and my friends or a party. Um, that's another thing that our um, food and beverage staff does on during times when we can visit face to face. And, and um, once all of this um, interesting new way of life goes away and we're back to normal, um, our food and beverage staff can come into your home, cook a meal for you and your friends and your family. The beauty of it is that they're going to come fix the meal, serve the meal, and clean up. So residents really do enjoy um, being able to utilize that service um, from our food and beverage staff. So um, I think we're getting ready to plate it up and have a taste. I'm so excited. Yeah, we, we're, we're right there. So I'm just going to let those vegetables, I just put a little uh, oil in the pan, mm -hmm. uh, a little hot pan, just sear these veggies up because I want you know, as fresh vegetables. Yep. Um, I like a little crunch out. to them still. Yeah, I like that little crunch to them. I usually knock these knock the vegetables out last. And so, yeah, let me go ahead and see how this lamb is. Looks good to me. Ooh. Smells good. This is the part where we all hold our breath and wait. Delicious. Oh no. Don't say oh no. Oh no, it's perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> right. All right, so we're going to post this um, video on YouTube. We're also going to be sending out a link. Um, but I want everybody to remember that um, if you 
are um, interested in, in coming to Atlantic Shores, taking a look at it, getting an extra, uh, you know, some more information about what it means to live in a retirement community. Um, I am going to make sure that you get all of our contact information. The website is really simple. It's AtlanticShoresLiving.com. You can go onto the website and schedule a virtual visit, which means I can join you on video just like this. Um, we can have a phone interview where we can talk about all of the details. How do you get here? What are my choices? And what kind of amenities do you, you know, amenities and benefits are there to, to living in a retirement community like this one? So we can't wait to hear from you and I'm getting so excited to taste this meal. Oh, good. Look and go. So I went ahead and put some, or yeah, put the mashed taste. potatoes down on the plate. And, uh, you know, it's always, it's always nice to uh, play with food. Uh, so my mom always told me not to play with my food, so I became a chef. You know? They look better than the mud pies I made when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and we just have these little these little red garnishes here, just some, just some bell pepper. See, this is the part where Eric says, like I'm sharpening up my skills again. I haven't been in the kitchen for a little while, acting as our food and beverage director. Um, but look at him, I don't think he's forgotten a thing. Yeah, well, thanks for that. I appreciate it. So I'm just like, what am I? What am I? You know what you're next? doing. It's like riding a bike. Yeah. And then we'll put these lamb chops. Oh my God. So. Eric, I'm going to thank you for doing this because you guys are so busy right now. Um, you and there's Joe is in the background. Becky's in the background. Um, it takes more than just the two of us to make stuff like this happen. Um, so I wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day um, and joining us for this zoom in to the kitchen with Atlantic Shores. And when you get that sauce on there, you got to hold that plate up to the camera. Show everybody what it looks like. It'll do. Yeah, to toss a little butter in. Of course. For all you chefs out there, <laughs> throw a little butter in that pan. Butter never hurt anybody. You know, and for all you non-chefs out there, throw a little butter in it. <laughs> butter makes it better. Yes, it does. What I have sitting next to me. Where would you like this plate? Right in front of me, Eric. <laughs> I'm ready. Show our camera though first. Oh, and now you get, you know, nothing's set. Oh, you got to garnish it. Yeah, some rose, rosemary garnish. All right. Show your camera. Where to? Oh. Right there. That is absolutely beautiful. Eric, thank you. I appreciate it. Right. And I cannot I wait like to dig in. Later. All right. Okay. Grab a knife. Thank you all very much.